absolute chaos out there. I'm surprised you've not heard. The elusive bear wolf rocks up, drives his motorbike straight into Grace's memorial. Where's Debs? She's heading up to home farm. What? And you didn't try and stop her? Why? Graham lied to us. Look, babe, I know he's hurt you both, but Deb's going up there could be dangerous. It don't mean you should get away with it. Debbie knows what she's doing. Well, I don't want either of you getting hurt, all right? I'm going to have to ring her, try and catch her before she gets up there. OK? Oh. Any chance you can help Pete in the top field? He needs a hand shift and some feed. Yeah, sure. Keen, we have been over this. Debbie will come round. You just need to give her some time. The important thing is, is we stick together. I know, I know, you're right. So is that a yes to helping Pete then? Well, you know, as, uh, as long as you ask me nicely. Did? Mm. Ask again. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's charity. Yeah. Hello. No, listen, I'm, I'm really busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. What? Right. Yeah, I'm coming. What's wrong? Is it Debbie? It's just all this stuff with Joe, you know. Charity wants some answers. Well, you better go and talk to her then. If that helps with Debbie. Yeah, thanks. Debbie. Joe's alive. Just when I thought there was nothing else you could do to ruin my life. It was better for you in the long run. Oh, so you did this for me? You let me grieve for a man that wasn't even dead. That might have suited you, but it didn't suit me or my kids. I hoped in the end it would help you forget him quicker. I was going to be his wife. That's what he told me he wanted, or was that a lie? No, that's what he wanted. But it was, um... It was impossible. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that he was alive all this time? I'm sorry it had to be this way. No, no, it's not good enough. Come on, you hit the bottle, you were as devastated as I was. Or was that just a little act? It was never an act. Well, what was it then? Whatever you think of me, I lost him too. Having to say goodbye, it was like he died. So, um... So I mourned for him. So you thought you'd let me mourn as well? You have a right to be angry. But I had to make a choice who I was going to be loyal to. I couldn't risk telling you the truth because it would have been harder to get him out of the country. If he'd stayed, it would have been a dead man, so... So I, um, I guess his life meant more to me than yours. It's over. Joe's gone. You're going to have to learn to live with it just like I am. You have got a lot to answer for. Just get her out of it. So you used to do Joe's dirty work and now you're doing Kim's? You need to stay away from our family. Tell your boss to do the same. No, oh, believe me, I want nothing more than to forget all this. You don't care about anyone else, do you? I did what I had to do. So what about him then? Because it's all very convenient they let everyone think that he murdered Joe. I did what I had. Even if it destroyed our family? You're pathetic. Oh, what? You can't say nothing. You're too scared of Kim. She has been pulling your strings ever since you got here. And we all know that it was her that ordered you to kill Joe. So now you know everything. But it's no use to you, is it? You still lost him. That's all you're going to get out of me, so, um... You might as well go home. Debs, come on. I mean, he's right about one thing. There is nothing left for us here, is there? Dad? Your mum's right. Let's go.